Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. For today's video, I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys it, a wet and wild lip swatch video. So, a little recap. About a month ago, I went to Walgreens. Wet and Wild released a bunch of stuff for 2019. And for this year, I told myself I do want to get more into the brand. I've tried their products here and there like in the past few years of course i enjoy a lot of their products just like their highlighters and their foundations and their setting sprays are really nice but um, i was never like in like dedicated to the brand but for this year i'm like they're really affordable let me try to see what they have so i can recommend them to you guys and you don't have to spend too too much especially considering the fact that they're actually getting better and better it's like like they can even be at sephora you know what i mean in my opinion I think. So I found the new display that they released um, at Walgreens. I picked up the primers, setting sprays. I'll leave the video that I filmed down below in the description box so you guys can see a little bit of an overview on the whole of everything that I picked up, which was pretty much most of the line. Part of the things that I picked up were their lipsticks. So they went ahead and released 12 different lipsticks. These are specifically called the Wet n Wild Perfect Pout Lip Colors. I purchased these for, I want to say $3.99 each at Walgreens. Um, I will leave the link down below if I can find them online. For $3.99, I think that it's pretty affordable there are 12 shades in the line so something in this line for anyone and everyone i think i'm gonna walk through um the formulas of these guys what i think about them and then i will go ahead and of course do arm swatches so you guys can see how they look plus i'll do lip swatches in case you guys were curious about any specific shade and you just didn't know what would well like what might work out for your skin tone or skin type uh so hopefully this video will be helpful let's go ahead and get started let me just show you guys the packaging of one of them so it comes just like this um it doesn't come packaged like in uh what's it called in a like cardboard package or plastic package or anything this is how you buy it there's like a seal on the lipsticks when you buy it so there's that um it has like a matte feel to it the lid is lit um <laughs> the lid is clear so you can just see through the lid to see what color it is but there's also a sticker on the bottom of the lip products indicating what the color of the lipstick is so you have both ways to look at like the color option if you have a few of these i find that to be very helpful because if they're like thrown in a drawer or situated like in an acrylic container you can just look at it and you don't have to open every single one up which i really appreciate it's just the little things you know once you open up the lip product it twists up just like that and then that's about how much product you get in there which i think is a pretty decent amount i love that these are retractable it makes things so much easier obviously and the lip product goes all the way down to the most part and then you just like put the lid on top Sometimes I find that the lid could touch the lip product, so just be aware of that. It doesn't go down all the way unless you like use it super consistently. It'll get down there, but in the beginning-ish, it's not going to. Like you can totally still see the color, so just be aware of that and just be a little bit careful because I have gotten like the lid stuck on the lip product a few times when I just was like throwing it on, you know. So that's just something to keep in mind. I want to just read you guys the description of these lip products because honestly, I could not have worded it better myself. It says intensity, and yes, oh my goodness, these are super super intense like they're not the kind of lip product that you have to swipe on back and forth it's more like a one swipe swatch situation for your arms or even for your lips you don't have to go over it a few times like the intensity and pigmentation of these lip products is seriously out of this world if it wouldn't say wet and wild on this i would think it's a different brand like they stepped it up these definitely do feel very light very airy very like um not there feeling on the lips you know like once it's on you don't necessarily feel like there's anything on your lips um i do find that they last a very very long time like you don't necessarily have to go in and reapply them the deeper shades i feel like leave a little bit of like a stain ish on the lips um so that's something to keep in mind and i feel like the deeper uh, shades do last a bit longer just because they are deeper in tone and then with the lighter shades i did feel like i have to reapply maybe like every two hours or so but even after that amount of time like it still looked nice on my lips i didn't have to constantly like go in five times a day you know so i love that about these and it says here that they are velvety soft so true like, if you guys try this it's like cream galore velvet blurness of my dreams which doesn't make sense but it kind of does at the same time <laughs> love them it says here achieve a pucker perfect pout with this light as air creamy texture formulated with muru muru seed butter sunflower seed oil argan oil and macadamia oil for maximum infusion of moisture as it says in the description it is made with a nice amount of different kind of oils and you feel that kind of like um hydrating ish feel on the lips like they don't feel dry or anything they kind of feel very moisturizing to an extent i don't necessarily feel the need to go in with a gloss with these or even exfoliate my lips or use a lip balm underneath because sometimes i do that if like the lip product is very dry you know but not with these they are a matte finish to an extent but they aren't 
necessarily kiss proof they kind of remind me of the satin formula for mac like it's like matte ish but it still has something more to it you know it lasts a very long time on the lips and it's not like shiny or anything it just has that like little mm, to it do you know what i'm saying hopefully that makes sense so i absolutely love the formula of these and considering that the fact that these are only 3.99 each like come on like let's get real that is an amazing deal for these lip products i know i 100 percent know if you guys test these out you will not be disappointed from the formula to the actual lip colors that they have to provide here super fun and just very impressive i have to give it to wet and wild they really kicked ass with this um lip product collection so i think that's pretty much it in regards to what the formula is like with these guys there are 12 shades like i mentioned 11 of them are more like that matte satin finish but there's one shade in here that is a gold and it still has like that satin matte finish but it has little micro glitters in there which i think is super cool that they only added one shade of that because it makes it a little bit innovative and different so with that shade and i'll discuss that with you guys in the swatches with that shade specifically i like to wear on its own if i'm going for that like sexy gold look you know or it's it's a super super nice shade to dab on top of any of the other lip products that have true color to them you know just to give it that like step above a little step of goldness going on and a little bit of like micro glitters it doesn't feel gritty on the lips whatsoever super creamy same formula as the like regular lipsticks but just has that metallic-y ish type of vibe to it you know you'll see when i do lip swatches but that's what i just wanted to mention just to keep you guys informed I think that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and do lip swatches. I like to do my lip swatches in a way where I actually speak to you guys as the lip product is on my mouth as opposed to just putting it on and being like, hmm, you know, like all smiley and whatever because I feel like I'm awkward like that to be honest with you and I can't just sit there being like, you know, like all these like pose situations at least at this point in my life. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Let's do this. So here's the first shade that we have up. This is a beautiful pale pinky color. It's the shade that I was wearing pretty much in the whole video. Love these kind of shades. It looks like it's a little bit more like neon-ish, but I really enjoy this kind of colors. If you find this to be a little bit too light, I think it's a good one to mix and match with. And this specifically is called No More Drama. No More Drama. I love it. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's just such an easy one to throw on for me, at least in my skin tone. I think it works really, really well. The next shade that we have up is this one, which is called Barrier Soul. This is a very beautiful... <laughs> This is a very beautiful nude shade, a little bit deeper than typically what I go for, but it is still a very nice, I would say, neutrally, every single day kind of color. Not too, too warm, but not too cool. I think it's a color that a lot of people would be down to use. Like, it's pretty universally flattering, flattering I should say. The next shade up that we have here is called Extra. And then here's how this one looks. You guys can see a little bit more warmer than the previous shade. This one that I have on my lips now in extra has more of like a terracotta-y vibe, which I feel like is very in. A ton of people love these kind of shades, so it might be right up your alley. But I really like this one. It's a little bit deeper than what I typically go for. But if I really want that like warm-ass look, like this is the one that I typically go for. And it looks kind of pretty. You know what I mean? Not my vibe 100%, but it's still kind of nice. This is the next shade that we have up. It's called Club Brat. And then here's how it looks like once it's swatched. It's a beautiful more typical reddish kind of color maybe a little bit deeper but it's super nice it's the kind of red lipstick that goes really well with like a yellow shirt <laughs> but also i feel like it's the kind of red lipstick that really just makes your teeth look really white i feel like it just adds that pop of something to any look you know so here we have club brat and come on aren't it am i not a brat I think i am not all the time sometimes then we have this shade which is called ring around the rosy and i feel like that name is just so fitting for this lip product because it's such a rosy ish type of shade right here's how it looks like once it's swatched um it has like a mauviness to it too but i think it's really beautiful also something pretty neutral i should say so something that one could wear for a day-to-day -day basis for some reason, I feel like these lip products also make your lips look a bit more maybe larger and powderier. But with this lip product, it looks like even bigger than like normal, you know, like more than more so than the other ones. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, really like this color. I'm usually not into rosyish type of shades, but there's something about this rosy, rosy shade that I feel like does work well with my skin tone. Sometimes rosy shades are just not my vibe because it just doesn't pair well with my skin. But with this one, I really like it. I'm going to start wearing this one more often. Okay, then we have this shade up, which is called Pinkaholics. I think that name is also so fitting for this lip color here's how it looks like once it's swatched and i feel like this is a pretty bright pink but still very wearable at the same time like it's not neon bright ass pink like it's there's still like a subtleness to it too even though some of you guys might be like oh, no there isn't but um i like compared to other like light bright pinks 
This one is more on the wearable side, I should say, for me. I usually don't go for such pinks. I like pinks, but not when it's like a hot pink like this. So I don't get a ton of use out of this specific one, but I still think occasionally for those like pinky days, like on October 3rd for Mean Girls, um, this lipstick would be probably pretty relevant. So here we have the shade again, Pink Aholics. Okay, <laughs> whoa! This shade right here is called Fiesta Party. I definitely do not own anything like this in my collection. It's actually pretty unique to what I own and what I have. Um, here's how it looks like once it's swatch it's a super super bright ass orange i would say like probably more neon ish so something that i would possibly wear more in the summertime maybe not on its own maybe to mix and match with other ones and also i think it would be fun if you're going on a festival if you're going raving all that like this is just kind of going to be that stand that you know with like glitter going on here oh my goodness really cute see come on it's kind of pretty or is it not? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> then we have this shade, which is called Undercover Lover. Super beautiful. I think this would be the most perfect red to wear, like if you're going out on a girls' night out or out with your husband, boyfriend, friend, all of that. Here's how it looks like once it's swatched. So the other red we spoke about was this one. Comparing both, this one has definitely more like red pigments in there. This one has teensy bit of like reddish pink going on. So if you want more of like a true, true red, this is pretty red, but this is more truer than this. Like this one is not lying. This one kind of is like a little bit. <laughs> Anyways, I really do like how this looks like on the lips. Also a red lip product that does make your lips look white. And um, is stunning on it's a classic you know cla you can never go wrong with the classic red this one right here is definitely one of my favorites it's a stunning deep burgundy cherry type of color and it's called it has the cutest name it's called 99 percent chance of wine <laughs> so cute here's how it looks like once it's swatched it's super beautiful very vampy something that i think would look bomb on anyone yeah, even if you're super super fair if you have a medium complexion a deep complexion whoa and then also paired with any outfit it's just like the star of the show it is such a stunning one and considering the fact that it's so pigmented and like creamy for being such a deep shade it is everything for me the next shade that we have up is this stunning color also one of my favorites this one is called my blackberry broke so cute um and here's how it looks like once it's swatched you guys can see compared to the previous shade this one right here has more like a blackberry vibe hence like the name the previous one has more of like a wineish kind of color yeah that's how i would be able to describe it like what a while did well with these names also really beautiful very vampy super deep and something that i typically don't wear but it looks also really great with any outfit and just it's just it's beautiful because it's not like black but it's super dark as well so it kind of almost looks black but it's also very wearable at the same time you know what i mean love it love if there is a blue that you are dying to rock this is where it's at this is one of the most prettiest blues ever and the most wearable is blue i have found at least for myself this is in the shade power outage i've worn this in a few videos and a few of you guys loved how it looked and i'm just feeling it i love this color it's such a like pop of something you know here's how it looks like once it's swatched and i adore that they included a blue in here because it's something that you would like literally not expect you know but they did so like I don't know like i guess when you least expect things it turned out to be good you know what i mean anyways love this shade would definitely recommend it super pigmented for being a blue and again look with all these products but especially with this one swipe and you're good to go okay and then finally this is the last shade that's included before you like scream at me just give me one second to explain this is in the shade first place winner this was the like metallic -y type of color that i was talking to you guys about that doesn't have any like grittiness to it here's how it looks like once it's swatched so as you guys can see on its own it's a little bit much obviously you can wear it on its own you can do whatever you please obviously however like i mentioned before it is a nice one to just dab on any of these lipsticks to add a little um goldeny effect and for it to take your lipstick to the next level if you want something a bit different and a bit like i don't know just unique you know so love the formula of this as well same exact as the other ones creamy just delicious on it's, i'm just gonna talk with this lip product even though it kind of looks like wait what um and that's pretty much it those were all the lip swatches of the wet and wild um perfect pow lipsticks i hope you guys enjoyed this i hope you found it helpful i really do love this collection i think that wet and wild did an amazing job with it definitely let me know what you guys think about them let me know which shades you personally thought thought looked good on me again here's how all of them look like once they're swatched here just a little close-up in case you guys were curious a nice selection of colors pretty wearable shades with the pop of blue i love it i think they did bomb anyways definitely let me know what shade you're gonna pick up for yourselves again hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm feeling like i'm all over the place because the camera's about to die also if you have any questions definitely let me know i don't not sure if i missed on anything but let me know in the comments below and i'll try to respond back to you guys and i'll see you guys in my next one bye